We're gonna see if I shoot this steel plate. I may get a strike. Who knows? Eight rounds shooting out of the Barrett 50 cal. Unopened military issue. Let's we'll shoot this beast. Okay guys, we're out here at my Caliber Ranch. Just bought this thousand acres, what, two days ago? We just closed. And today I wanted to bring the 50 out. We're gonna shoot the 82A1 Barrett. It's got a standard barrel. The brake, this of course is what helps you with the recoil. Of course the springs do too. But I dropped a night force on it. Just a, trying to remember what I put on it. I don't remember what I put on it. <laughs> I always wondered what my 50 cal will do at 240 yards at a steel plate. I wanna see if it goes through it or not. But we're about ready to find out. Let's go check it out. Well, what you got? You got three boiling pans, it's got a total of six. We're gonna put all six behind there and we'll see if we can impact the target and see if it goes right through that and hits these. into a shooter's paradise. I'm gonna put two more in. And we're gonna see if I shoot this steel plate. I like how you're covering your bets and putting like lining the entire coyote with pins. Well, yeah, I gotta cover my ass here just in case I miss. <laughs> but it's quarter inch AR 500. So we're gonna see how well this will handle that uh, Barrett. I'm assuming the 50's gonna go right through it. But I guess we'll find out here shortly. I may get a strike, who knows? We'll find out. Man, how much does this setup cost? I think I bought this. It's an earlier one. Oh, eight years ago, 10 years ago. It was one of my first guns I bought. I want to say it was around 10 grand, give or take. Do it. Does it, that include the optic? No, it did not. How much is that optic? Uh, optic was about, I think it was around 1,500, 2,000. What about the rounds? How much are rounds for this thing? Oh, sh Five bucks I've heard they're going for? I don't know, I have 10,000 rounds at home. Unopened military issue. Not too worried about the cost of them. I got plenty to go around. Well, let's shoot this beast. All right, ready when you are, man. Okay guys, we're gonna see this. Holy sh Well, I hit the leg, bent the sh out of the leg, and returned. It didn't hit the bowling pins at all. Well, wait a minute. It was just the concussion that the knocked concussion over? of it. I think the concussion of it, when it hit that, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Damn, broke the leg. Well, I think what happened was, is I hit there, and of course the concussion from that knocked down the bowling pins. I only got two rounds off, had a gun problem, so that sucks. So I'll do another video where we're definitely gonna be hitting something major steel in the front. So I apologize for that, guys. But otherwise, obviously, it's somewhat safe to be behind a coyote, I guess. So we were doing some practice shots earlier before we started shooting the coyote, and I thought I'd hit the dueling tree, and you can see, it shredded the dueling tree, went right through it. No problem at all. You're not safe behind a dueling tree whatsoever. So remember that next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button and like it. Take care guys, bye bye.